three-year-old Philly Trot, which took place earlier tonight at Garden State. Here were the post-time odds, the head numbers, and the post positions are different, as you see. The entry of Delphi's daughter and Giant Mermaid, eight to five. Number two, Duchess Lobel, five to one. Number three, Image of a Clear Day with Bill O'Donnell driving the Even Money Public Choice. Number four, Jailhouse Rock with Jimmy Tactor at seven to one. Number five, Probot, 19 to one with Richard Wolcio. Number six, Armbro Megan and John Campbell, 45 to one. Number seven, Valley Dancing and Peter Wren at 80. Number nine, Football, driven by Burnt Lindstedt, 45 to one. And number nine, Nera and Pear Henriksen at 99 to one. This the three-year-old Philly trot in and the Cadillac the Breeders' Crown. Coming up the to Garden the State track record held by Cadillac Duchess Lobel, 156 and four. The world rolling. record set by Peace Corps, 152 and four. This has been the all or nothing division in the 10 years of competition. Seven of the public's choice have won and two of the other three years, big long shots were victorious. Right now, what they call the Cadillac Crown three-year-old Philly Trot. Let's go up to track announcer Larry Letterman. They are up for the 1994 Cadillac Breeders Crown for three-year-old trotting Phillies. Coming out mid-pack is Giant Mermaid smartly to the inside of that one. And coming out nicely as well is Jailhouse Rock. They're into the turn and Jailhouse Rock comes away with the best speed on the outside. Picking up the speed and the momentum is Giant Mermaid. On the inside trying to keep that precious hole closed is Duchess Lobel. Then on the inside, Image of a Clear Day wants to go on with it, but O'Donnell wrangles her back. We have breakers in the back going off stride. Delphi's daughter, Delphi's daughter has made a break and then broke into Armbro Make It. Armbro Make It is off stride, also going off stride was Valley Dancing, and Valley Dancing is off stride. So they went to the quarter in 27 and three, happenstance second, and the leader of the pack out on the lead, two lengths is Jailhouse Rock on the outside, going on with it smartly. Image of a clear day with a power surge, takes command. Back in the second is Jailhouse Rock, another two lengths is Duchess Lobel, followed in fourth by Probot left and now backs off his giant mermaid then followed out of the length and by Nara everybody else is soundly beaten going off stride with football then there's a 10 length gap to Delphi's daughter in behind that one Valley dancing and way way out of it is Armbro Megan halfway home in 56 and 1 and they trot on the turn and the route is on it's image of a clear day putting on a clinic going to three quarters all by her lonesome and she's a quarter of a mile away for having her name put on the lead list Second all by herself as well as Jailhouse Rock, but this is a sight to behold. Three quarters, five and two, and they trot their way home. And O'Donnell landing some insurance, the image of a clear day. And on the outside, Jailhouse Rock is no good in it, and she is making up ground. Sixteenth away in desperate straits, image of a clear day. Jailhouse Rock making a big race of it. It's image of a clear day. Jailhouse Rock is coming on. It's going to be dramatic and close, and it could go either way. Image of a clear day of Jailhouse Rock. Third was Giant Mermaid. Have to wait on a photo. Mile and one, 55 and two. An exciting finish, but Image of a clear day got the job done. Tenth win of the year for this three-year-old chestnut filly by balanced image out of the speedy crown mare, pathway to Piaget. All right, Bruce, and always the possibility of breakers when you're talking about trotting fillies. Such was the case here. We had several in the field, including one of the leading contenders, Delphi's daughter, who driver Sonny Patterson said got run into. Well, after a big move, it was image of a clear day all alone in the front end. She was looking to hide from this field and almost did that. But Jailhouse Rock with one last surge almost got there. Not enough. Image of a clear day takes it. Owned by Earl Sheilar, who is a former mutual clerk at Buffalo Raceway. Image of a clear day, returning $4.23 and $2.20. Jailhouse Rock, $5.20 and $2.60. Giant Mermaid, $2.20 to show. And the time of the mile, 155 and 2. The exact at 3 and 4, returned $25 and 40 cents. This Philly bred by Cantario Farms Limited, trained by Doug McIntosh, driven to victory by Bill O'Donnell, his fourth victory in this division. And here's a look at the final order of finish with Probot fourth, Nara fifth, Duchess Lobel sixth, Delphi's daughter finishing seventh, Valley Dancing eighth, Armbro Megan ninth, and Football tenth. So image of a clear day with her 10th win of the year and I would say divisional honors. A look at the winner's circle, Tom Patrick, David Weinstein of the Cadillac Motor Car Division, Frank Antonacci of Lindy Farms of Connecticut, and Richard Orban, general manager of Garden State Park, 
congratulating Earl Shelar of Hamburg, New York, an image of a clear day, the public's choice.